we had an incredible open house event, sort of like a grand reopening. We've had this branch office down here uh, for quite some time. In fact, this is where the first uh, National Center was. Back then it was called the Adam Walsh Resource Center. This is where it all started. After my six-year-old son Adam's murder in 1981, uh, my wife decided that we were going to fight back for children because of the really lack of resources and the lack of help. We didn't get any help. And to all the people that work at the National Center, and um, we've come a long way, and um, I just thank you so much. Thanks for being here. So we brought that 24-hour call center down from our HQ in Old Town Alexandria. It's just so great to, to have that call center here. Well, this is the uh, primary call center for the United States and actually for the world. We do get international calls as well. So we have operators in here that are taking calls 24-7, 365. Uh, they're the human being on the end of the phone when a, a child is missing or a parent's reporting some type of child exploitation. Have the control center here. All those hotlines are generated right here and manned 24-7. We also operate the Amber Alert. And what it is is a uh, national broadcast system that uh, alerts the public to when a child goes missing. So we do a really good job of geo-targeting uh, those Amber Alerts to make sure it's only going to the people that are in that vicinity of where the child went missing. Amber Alert is a great example of using technology and harnessing that power to help bring home children safer than ever before. Our Exploited Children's Division, which we have uh, cyber tip line analysts here, uh, they're the individuals that take in tips from the internet of any sort of sexual uh, exploitation of children. We tackle the internet, we tackle social media here, so we are the real nerve center of dealing with the hunt for pedophiles online and on social media. In our missing children's division, uh, those are the case analysts who are uh, working with parents and law enforcement to try to find missing children on the ground. So we had demos from our missing children's division, but a part of that is our forensic services. Forensic services is incredible. That's the real life CSI. And they're doing age progressions of kids where we're making sure that those images that we're putting out to the public are as accurate as possible. I age progress those photos every two years when that child's missing up until they turn 18. After 18, we do it every five years and we'll keep age progressing those photos uh, until we've recovered that child. We always tell uh, folks to go to missingkids.org, look at our website, look at missing uh, children pictures. Uh, there's information there about how to talk to your kids, about how to be safe online. Uh, all of our social media feeds, we like to have people follow us on social media. That's another great way to stay connected. Knowledge is power. We have some great, great resources that teach kids how to be safe online, navigate those waters safely, and how to be safe in the real world. Today's beautiful event, filled with dignitaries and politicians and cops and all that, who was also there to help us. 10 or 12 volunteers, set up the tables, do our mailings, help us with that, and you can really make a difference. We need those hands and boots on the ground here. So if you've got money and you can fit that into your lifestyle, we could always use money. There's many, many things that people can do, and we're receptive to all of it. And if you don't have any money, come and volunteer. You really, really could make a difference just by showing up.